Hi there, my name is Prakar and you are watching TechNow. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe and press the notification icon below. In our earlier video, we have learned how to create our own NAS server. If you haven't watched it yet, find the link below. In this video, we are going to learn how to create our own torrent box. That is, you can download your torrents directly onto a NAS server and access its content across all the devices. We need not keep our laptops or chargers or mobile phones on for downloading these torrents. The Raspberry Pi along with the NAS will download it and you can access its contents. To learn how to do it, first of all, we need to ensure that our NAS is configured properly. Once your NAS is configured, follow these steps. Step 1. Installing the transmission software. Hello friends, so today we are going to install our transmission bit torrent client so that we can download our torrents into our uh, hard disk uh, which is connected to the NAS and so we can later access these files. I have logged in to my Pi using this Raspberry Pi, we have got this screen. Update the Pi to avoid any software conflicts. We'll use the command sudo apt get update and uh, sudo apt get upgrade. Okay, so my Pi is up to date. Now I'm going to install this transmission daemon software by using the following command. This description has already been provided in the link below. You can download it from there. Now we are going to create two folders that is one is the in progress folder and one is the complete folder. So once our torrent is in progress of downloading, it will uh, it will be visible in this in progress folder and once it is complete it will uh, come to the complete folder so we are going to create two directories by using these commands okay uh, now we are going to go to the settings of this transmission for configuring this particular software so we are going to use this command and we will be able to uh, get the list of settings that are available for this software So I'll just change the basic ones right now. For example, my directory of the incomplete directory. I'll go to this and uh, I will use I will change it to this folder which we have just created earlier Okay, uh, then we are going to enable this particular directory whether we can show we can view the incomplete directory or not. We are going to do this and we are going to change the it to true. Then the complete directory we are going to the download directory we are going to modify, which we have just created by okay. So now we are going to set our Raspberry Pi password and uh, the default username. I suggest you keep this password and username different than your Raspberry Pi login for uh, more safety. Okay, and uh, now we are going to add one more IP to our uh, whitelist. So this basically means that in our home network, all the system, all the users, and all the IPs will be able to access this transmission software. So all these settings, the basic settings are done. We'll save by using Control X and Y, and then press Enter. Now our transmission has been installed. So we are going to reload and start the service. We are going to copy this command and paste it here. Then we are going to start our service by using this command. Okay, so our service has started. Now we are going to test our whether our BitTorrent client has been successfully installed or not. We, we can note that the IP of the Raspberry Pi is required. Okay, so we will type 192.168.2.20 and uh, the port number that we have created is 9091. We can see it here in our, this is the port number which we are going to use 9091. So yeah, uh, now the user ID and password which we just created, we'll enter it and sign in. This is the torrent client which, uh, this is the software which will be able to access it 
this can be accessed from your mobile phone also and any device that is connected to that particular network so how to download download a torrent you just need to grab that torrent and put it here so for example you have to download this particular torrent you are going to get this torrent file and download it this is the magnet link which we can also copy we can paste it here and we can start upload as you can see this particular torrent will automatically get downloaded this can also be accessed from your mobile phones or any particular device that is connected to this particular network so you need not keep your computer on in this case you can just close this browser the torrent will automatically get downloaded in your hard disk NAS for example I have already installed this NAS server so I will be able to view this torrent from here we have created two folders known as in progress and complete and when we open the in progress folder we will be able to see the torrents that are being downloaded thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe and press the notification icon below in case you have any doubt or queries you can comment on the link below thank you very much